Hi, welcome to the Liverpool Community Podcast. I'm your host, Chase Johnson Lynch. This is going to be a weird one for me. So right now I'm joined here, my son, Jason Johnson Lynch. What's up, buddy? Yeah, uh, thank you for inviting me. Um, I was a little bit confused why you decided to send me here in a, in a, in a, in a trash can. Um, but you know what? It's, it's fine. Uh, I, I enjoy the free service. The free service? Yeah. What do you mean free service? Well, you, you sent me here. Well, you sent me here by a, by a, via trash can, didn't you? I did. What do you mean by that? Are you like asked for the grouch or something? What do you mean? So anyway, um, I'm here. <laughs> this is how it's going to go. I don't have a clue. I'm totally unawares. Yeah, that, yeah. They call me Chatterbox Jackson. I wonder which people it is, um, and everything. Cause yeah, all right. Count them on your fingers. And you will stop at five. Well, the reason why we say this is because it's like uh, there was a time where you didn't really communicate a lot, weren't there? Yeah. Um, we're all fetuses at one point. Fetuses that go to school and everything what? like that. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what anyway, I'm talking about. Okay, I'll, I'll, Listen, yeah, man, I'll this be. Is, yeah. This is real talk, father to son, you know, son to the world. This is real talk. There was a time where you didn't like. Uh, you know, like communicate. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll be serious. I'll take this seriously. Me too. All right. Yes. I was a, I was a very um. I was a very extroverted person. Um. Uh, introverted. Oh yeah, introvert. I was a very introverted person. I, it's a verbal typo. A verbal yeah. typo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I lo- I love I love that I'm able to correct you because I'm pretty sure. You'll correct me on many of things as yeah. we go along. Air for slot. First he of thinks all, we're, the not going, slot. We're, we're, we're not going there. Real um, language fake, he thinks. We're, we're not going there. You've been on the autistic spectrum, and you, you've you always been public about that. You even added it to your comedy, which we're also going to talk about. But, I mean, like, in that aspect, is that there was a time where you couldn't, you know, like, um, um, I think they would call it like self mutism or something like that. Like selective, selective mutism. Selective mut- mutism. Yeah. Selective mutism. That's what I did. Yeah. Selective yeah. mutism. Yeah. And then like. Wait, wait. S- say it again. Selective mutism. All right. Say it again, but properly. Okay. That just is. What? Selective mutism. Close enough. We'll get there. Thank you. You found it difficult, even though you wanted to talk. But you found it difficult, wasn't that true? <laughs> is this an interrogation? Not an interrogation, uh, it's an honest talk. It's, it's an inter- okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk. I didn't talk. Yeah. Next question. You decided um, to um, take a drama course with uh, 20 Story Fine and everything like that. Because from my perspective, that's when you started to kind of like break out of this, you know, um, wall of communication. So you're looking like I'm wrong, but no, well, no, I mean, you're right. Oh but my like, God! Did he just say I was right? But um, but there's the whole time a whole timeline of events where I went to different drama groups, um, and then it stopped in 2016 of the summer. But then, uh, in September 2021, I decided to join the 20 stories high youth theater and that was when things started to change a little bit yeah see for the better yeah dramatic hands yeah well what what did you think it was confidence building or yeah it was like confidence building um learning learning information learning how to write poetry i i do i do a lot of i do spoken word poetry sometimes um I don't like rhyming though. No. So it's so oft, so oftentimes people will come up to me and say, "Oh, hey, Jackson, that was a good monologue." It's not a monologue, you dipshit. It's a it's it's a. Uh... So we're I think we're about five minutes in, so I think you could get away with that one. Oh. But it is unexpected. Oh, we you can't swear. Uh, he's not at the beginning of the podcast, but I mean, like I said, oh, it's been <laughs> it's been five minutes. Whatever. Gosh, what? It's terrible. I don't like it. Mm, I, yeah. Like people, people often, people often think, 
Like, well, there's no difference between Scottish water and regular water. What it is. Um, yeah, I found out one time I was at the train station. And, um, <laughs> yeah, one time I was at the train station and um, I had, like, a bottle of water. And I was, like, sitting in, I was, like, I was, like, sitting on the chair and I was drinking it. And I was, like, ugh, it tastes terrible. And, and, and then I look at the label and it says, it said Scottish water. And I was, like, oh. That makes sense. Okay. What I also thought was interesting is how you've taken something, I mean, that is natural to yourself um, or something that you're naturally dealing with, which would be kind of like, you know, the autistic spectrum, and you started to write comedy around that, you know, and everything, and, you know, where it's like you made that a part of your, you know, um, repertoire, didn't you? I guess I did. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, you did. I mean, I think yeah, there was even a time when you went out and researched another comic that was doing it. Like, and you went and saw a show. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Joe Wells. I went to Birmingham with um, with uh, my friend, the Benjamin, and my mom. And uh, when we saw him, and it was, it, was, it was great. You know, I mean, like, at this point, you can always say how you were inspired by your dad, you know? Um, and everything, you know, uh, being a filmmaker and writer and stuff like that, but, you know, you can say it. I don't have to. Well, I, so I can, can you say that again? No. I was spaced <laughs> out. I was, I was spaced out. I couldn't, I couldn't really hear you. Um. Why can you hear me? No, I was, I was daydreaming. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. That's what autistic people do. They yeah. daydream. Inspiration. All right. I'll, 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 I'll give you one that's not about me. And stuff. Stop doing that. I'll give you one that's not about me. Uh, you know, like, because you mentioned your mom and stuff like that, telling you that you should go into stand-up comedy and stuff like that. And so what I, what I, what I remember seeing last year, which was really funny, was that your mom likes to write sketches for her workplace. Like, they do, like, uh, annual Christmas shows, let's see. Uh, yeah, do you want me to explain I, I, it? I, I guess I could call it, like, the Kermit sketch. Well, yeah, do you want me to explain it? Basically... Well, actually, I can't explain it. I don't really know what was going on, but I, it involved me doing a Kermit the Frog voice. Yeah. What? That was my Kermit the Frog voice. Well, go on. No, no, no. You can do it. That's a, that's a Swedish chef voice. Whatever. I, I, okay. I, I just, <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not. Whatever. I'm, whatever. Criticize. Why don't you? If I was Simon Cowell, it would be a no from me. It would be. Okay. Yeah. Did you did you ad lib in that or did you just follow? Script. No, I mean, I think the only ad living, and it's like it's an important thing for every for every future comedian, every future funny person, is that you have to you have to stop talking when people are laughing, uh, because otherwise, people are laughing and you're still talking, they can't hear your other funny bits. Yeah. So then it's like you have to kind of give space. Yeah, it's like I call it. I like to I like to call it. I'm gonna pretend I've I'm gonna pretend I've invented this. Okay. It's called talking in rhythm. It's basically like when you talk, you don't talk like a normal person would. You like talk in a rhythm, and it's uh, it's good for for comedic timing. Learn something new every day. Yeah, I'm always open to it. I think. Yeah. Well, for, well, in your case, you learn like five things new every day. <laughs> you learn five new things every day. <laughs> back, 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 back to me. Uh, you know, it's like. Uh, you know, any source of inspiration in there? He's a writer. He's not a poet. He will make it a big deal. Um, if someone said, if someone said, "Are you a poet?" He will say, "Not a poet, not a DJ." Um, but he's like, he's like a storyteller. He's a story writer, but he speaks in like a performs in a spoken word sense. Mm -hmm. And um, his uh, his so his name is his name is PJ, but his stage name is Roy. But um. But yeah, he taught me how. So every time I write like a spoken word stuff, a spoken word poem, I'll always like I'll send I'll send it to him, and then and then he'll be like, it's good, or and then he will like he's somewhat kind of taught me how to how to deal with stage presence. But he's always like the guy who like if he says he likes something, and that means I'm validated. So that means I'm like yes. And then um and his uh, his fiance is a, is also a poet. Victoria Garbutt. In a comedian sense, 
Why, why, are you, why are you smiling at me like that? I'm and not can, actually smiling. I'm waiting. James A. Caster. He's one of my. He's one of the funniest people. Have you, have you heard of James A. Caster? I have not. Have, have you heard of James A. Caster? Why would she? No guy. Everyone, James A. Caster. Okay, James A. Caster is a very, very funny person. He's appeared on like every TV show. He's also a stand-up. He's also a stand-up comic. Oh wow, cool. Um, well, I remember how you you were like mad on uh, whose line is it anyway? Oh yeah, I, mean, I, I love think that you've show. You've seen every everyone. How many years has that been on? It's been on since the eighties in the UK. Started in the UK, went to the US in the nineties, then it stopped Whoa, really? in the two. Yeah, Drew Carey. Yeah, I know, but the eighties. Wow. Well, no, no, the eighties was in the UK with Clive Anderson. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and and that didn't have like Ryan Styles and all that stuff yet. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, yeah. like, it, it's like it's like they were just like um, it's like they would just be like random guests at that point. Yeah, I don't think I picked up on it until Drew Carey because yeah. he had the Drew Carey. Show. Yeah, well, you're American, so we we all know why. Thanks, thanks for acknowledging that. Yeah. You know, I I always wondered because people often ask me, uh, what kind of accent do you think you have? Well, so basically. I've always asked people this. I've always told pe- I've always asked people, do I sound British, right? And they say yes. Cuz I Okay, okay, but you what you're getting confused is that I don't speak in like a scouse manner. I speak in a British manner. I sound I mean I can hear myself talking right now. Yeah. That's how he is work. And I um yeah, it sounds more British to me. But I think for but I think when I was young it was different because of the uh, because of the selective mutism, the fact that like and the fact that I'd watch a lot of American shows and the fact that I would spend almost every waking moment in my life talking to you. So um, was that a bad thing? Was that a bad thing? Yeah. Oh. Who are you asking? I'm asking. I'm addressing the camera. I, that's what I've been doing the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I I spent maybe about like ten minutes fishing for a compliment, haven't I, Jess? <laughs> Do you think I got one? No. Just take. It. Just okay, take fine. It. Thanks, thanks. Oh yeah. What, so do you, what do you think? Do you think Jess sounds American or British? More British. Yeah. Do we? Yeah, really? Like he's not Scouse. I if I didn't know him, I think he was from somewhere posh. Wow. Possible. Yes, I'm a very posh guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now you're doing spoken word as well as acting, as well as stand up comedy. So it's many different roads you can go down. So which one do you think you want to gravitate more towards? That's what I'm trying to say. Um It's either stand up or voice acting. But the problem is and this is this is this is going to be an analogy moment. You know the ocean, how vast the ocean is. There's always a fish in the ocean. All the fish, they look the exact same, and all they do is just swim around, and and and, and they eat stuff. Um, <laughs> and so basically, um, if I wanted to be, well, I was going to say shit, but now it's like I okay, can't. Okay. I can't. Okay. <laughs> okay. So basically, yeah, so there's too many comedians and there's too many voice actors. So it's a matter of figuring out how I'm going to stand out, how I'm going to be the fish that stands out. Maybe I'll have an extra scale. Maybe I'll have one taller thin. Maybe I'll have bigger lips. That's Maybe what fish you'll be has. the fish that saved Pittsburgh. No one's going to laugh at that. I know, it's a movie reference. No, no one's going to laugh at that. It's an old one. It might be an old person watching. So anyway, next question. Wait, can I ask you a question? Oh, please do. <laughs> and don't ask me a door if you like. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? Snipers. Go ahead, which question? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how much chaos I can create. How much chaos I can, I can ensue. I just want to know why you want to, but that's okay. <laughs> Take the hat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Take the hat off. I will not. <laughs> Take the hat off. So, like, the thing about it is, there is actually love in the room. One-sided love, uh, unrequited love. You know, maybe I'm used to that. 
But like the thing <laughs> That's cap. What? 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 That's anyway, an internet song. I think what's great is is that like you're tempted now to actually, you know, pass on what you've learned and develop to you know, other people, younger people like Oh yeah, but that's know, but that's it well, that's in an improv standpoint. I was going to say that before yeah. it was interrupted, but um yeah. Take the hat off. What is it with you in the hat, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a nightmare. I'm not full on ball. It's but um, I got a mullet that I'm training. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a whole horror movie. What? It's a, it's a whole it's a whole horror movie under there. What it, what's interesting is my hair is naturally straight and curly, and stuff like that. You know, so it's like yeah, you know, it's not like his where it's a big crown and stuff like that. So it's 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 funny. So anyway, I'm trying to end this show. Going to be doing that. You're going to be doing uh, uh, more uh, the 20 stories high. You got a summer uh, show coming up, right? Yeah, summer show. It's about actually. I don't think I can reveal what it's about, but basically, okay. oh, oh, it's a hint, right? There's a lot of time travel. It's a lot of time traveling shenanigans. Ooh, time travel. TT. Yeah, well, you're a big fan of Doctor Who, as I see from your TARDIS on your arm. Oh yeah, I've got a TARDIS on my arm. Just in case it's a tattoo. You didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I like Doctor Who. What's your favorite doctor? Um, it's it's always been like a cross between Matt Smith and David. Just Tenet. just just say it. Just say it. Right? Matt Smith. Okay. So you had to do. Just well, I ask a question. I do like ladies. David Tennant though. Yeah. So does everyone else. Now try and have your own unique opinion for once in your life. You know, you like hey, look at me, yum cheese. I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna Google. Oh, what the hell? This guy says the Earth is flat. Oh, that must be true then. Oh yeah. Oh, the moon landing is fake. Oh, whoa. My brain's opened. Oh, the sun. It rotates like this. What? 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 Wow. It does rotate like this, bro. Stop yourself. I could tell you so many things of why it's not true, but then I won't. <laughs> That's not that kind of joke. <laughs> YouTube channel is called Misinformation James. Misinformation <laughs> James. Okay, no. All right, so that shows you how we're coming to a dead uh, of this. Sorry, just one more question. Um, if you take off the cap, do you know what's underneath it? A tinfoil hat. Yeah. Tin for your hat. Oh, tin for oh, yeah. tin, tin for Harry. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, Who, who's Harry? Tin for you, Harry. Never. Heard, anyway, no one's gonna laugh at that. Uh, you know what? Good thing I'm not the comedian on this show. <laughs> and people were saying there was a comedian on. So either way, you know, I thought this would be a cool idea. Um, <laughs> father interviewing son, son talking to dad, being nice, whatever. Who cares? Um, that's life. So, but I did enjoy this day. You know what I mean? Like that, you know, and I look forward to seeing where you go next. I think that what people see is the rise of confidence and stuff. Yeah. All right. So, I'm your host, G. Johnson. This has been the Liverpool Community Podcast. And, yeah, we out of here.